Ee, yanlış şeyi ortalayalım bayana kamerayı. Kamerayı ortalayalım bayan yarıda gözüküyor. Ay bayan gözüksün. Bayana. Heh. Bayan gözüksün kamerada. Biraz daha ortalayın. Ha, or, or, hay kapamayın, ortalayın. Abi ortala diyorum Murat, Türkçe anlamıyor musun? Şurada duruyor kadıncağız. Şöyle biraz şuraya doğru alsana kadın şurada gözüksün. İnanmıyorum. Harbiden yani bu kadar beceriksiz olabilirsiniz ya. So welcome. My name is Umit. Uh, we are conducting a research on behalf of a QA market research company uh, which conducts in, in, in national and international uh, research and the project that we are, uh, we are conducting at the moment. Uh, we are going to get your opinions. My name is Shebnam Dörndil uh, and I am 37 years old. And your kids, your husband. I've been married for about 18 years. And I've got a kid uh, continuing to the sixth grade. So let's uh, just ask some questions about the Synax. So what comes to your mind when I give you the words of Synax? So those are the things that I generally prefer eating uh, I mean between the meals. Why do you like eating snacks? Generally speaking, uh, especially after dinner, I prefer eating this type of uh, food. And uh, for example, between the meals, I also like eating it as well. As Especially at the weekends, I prefer uh, eating this kind of things a lot. And uh, for example, at home we keep a plastic bag and we fill it uh, with the with the snacks, and everybody knows it. What about your husband and your kids? What kind of snacks do they like eating? So I mean, we uh, we put everything into the plastic bag. Who uh, I mean, whoever uh, feels like eating anything, they just go there and take whatever they like to eat. So, uh, for example, yesterday I bought something. Uh, what, what was that? It was brownie. Ati brownie. Uh, for example, cheesy is the crackers I have bought. And even I have that in my uh, handbag, for example. Can we see it? I mean, of course, I mean, no problem. I can show it to you if you want. So I've got this one, Ulker Kellogg's, and this is Twitter. 
and we know to it. So I mean, for sure, I generally prefer to keep this, this kind of things in my handbags as well, for sure. So, uh, what is the importance of those snacks for you? So it is uh, my palate taste, you know. Uh, for example, I do not prefer eating the real uh, meal, but I generally uh, be uh, satisfied with uh, eating snacks, for example. So you have already mentioned about what kind of things you eat as snacks. And what they all do, what time of the day do you prefer eating these uh, snacks? Uh, between 3 and 5 during the day and sometimes at, at the at night as well uh, for example uh, like between 9 and 10 to 30 especially on Sundays at the weekend uh, so for example after uh, 1 and 1 30 and 5 and uh, in the evening hours we, we generally eat this kind of things So you so you put only only uh, the sugar and it just caramelizes it, and you you just wrap it around a stick. At the same hours, I can have it. So, for example, when uh, my uh, son returns home uh, and it comes home around uh, 5 o'clock and until 7, he is alone and he keeps eating this kind of things when he is alone at home. For example, wafers uh, can, be, uh, can be listed. For example, the cotton sh candy. Uh, and Gigi Bebe uh, produced by, uh, I, mean, I mean, those were the things that we uh, used to eat when we were child. But it was forbidden for us. Why did they prohibit it to eat? Because they were thinking that they were not very healthy. And but uh, the, uh, the only thing that, which is, uh, that is not being prohibited is the ice cream. So we can keep ice cream 24 hours in the, in the fridge at our home. We always keep ice cream in the fridge and we can treat them when we have guests coming into house as well. So you do not get any negative reactions? No. So I've, I've never remember any time that I've been uh, ill because I consumed uh, ice cream. So what happened I mean, throughout the years? Uh, what uh, kind of changes occurred uh, from the time that you were a child? So I mean, uh, the, the variety has just been more than what we had when we were a child. And, uh, Uh, but I believe that uh, there has been some changes occurred throughout the years that passed. For example, the snacks that you, you consumed in the past and the, the ones that you've been using uh, consuming at the moment. Uh, any changes occurred? I still consume wafers. And the, the, the variety has just increased. And there was one with the cream in it, the biscuits. And there were some uh, the strawberry flavored uh, vapors. And I believe that the ones which uh, were produced in uh, the last years are uh, healthier and uh, hygienic than the ones uh, that we consumed in the past when we were a child.
what, what are the what are the snacks that your uh, kid would like to uh, uh, consume? For example, chips. He likes eating. And there is another uh, thing that, that he likes called BN. So I, I mean, uh, my kid uh, can just stay without having a food uh, for 24 hours, but he tends to eat this kind of snacks more down the foot. And he likes chips, pasta. And this type of things generally he likes consuming. And what about the desserts, saviors? Yes, of course, he likes that as well. Um, uh, among the food that you have listed, which is the, could you please list uh, three of the most important food that he likes? Chips. In, uh, not all, only in sense of uh, snacks. Chips, Iskander, and pizza he likes most. Pizza. So these three are his favorites. For example, chips always come first, and Iskander, a kind of Turkish food which is made of meat and um, yogurt, he likes, and the pizza he likes. I mean, uh, the snacks is something that he likes in between. And uh, I mean, our taste is uh, more or less the same with my kid. And uh, we know that the chips is not very uh, nutritious and nutritive. And but we we I mean we like eating that as well. Is there anything that you feed your uh, food with in a special? Lee, uh, so you're talking about snacks or, for example, milk. Uh, for example, I was just trying and make him eat some uh, certain food in the past, and uh, because he he was believing that his uh, heart his heart is, uh, is going to be taller when he consume it. And ice cream, of course, he likes it a lot. So you also like the similar things, right? Yes. Is there anything that you especially would like your kids uh, to eat? I mean, just in order to have a taste of it, I can just keep uh, m uh, making him eat some certain thing. Is there anything that you would like your uh, kid to have it? Meat. Why meat? Because he doesn't like eating meat. I also do, don't like it meat a lot, but it's very important, especially for the for for, for a child which is uh, going to be at the uh, phase of uh, I mean uh, growing. Uh, since he was uh, five years old, I am just. Uh, buying it. I was working then and uh, he was staying with his grandma. So when he went to market he was just buying that as well. Uh, for example when he goes to the grocery he buys a wafer or just one single item and comes back. Uh, we have some gift, especially uh, when, uh, I mean, we give on the occasions of getting his reports from the school, and this is like a prize, you know. 
and uh, I mean we have bought iPhone 3 uh, for, for the success that he gained at school. The things that you give your kids. Is it something nice or bad? Is something good? Because when he's run out of the money, he knows how to spend money and he also knows that he is not going to be able to buy any, anything when he runs out his money. So he, he just learns that he's not going to be buying a credit for the cell phone. How much uh, are you allocating him to have as a pocket money? Average around five to dollars a week. Uh, if uh, he is uh, between 8 and 10, around 10 Turkish dollars a week. What about now? Now he's getting 10 Turkish dollars a day. So the pocket money that you're paying uh, him has just been increased. Yes. Because they have just started to have their own personality. But uh, I mean, they have to also learn how to how effectively spend their money. So I mean, you know, he's got an average, you know, no, no matter how much you're paying to him. So uh, I, at least I go out twice a week. And it goes for a training, a sports training, three uh, times a week. And he's been continuing having this training program for about six years. And he's spending around one and one and a half an hour there in the training course. And we are eating, and we are eating snacks, and going out together, etc. Does he go out on his own? Yes, he goes out on his own as well. What kind of activities does he do? Walks in the park and he likes playing football. And other than those times, we generally spend our times at home. And I generally go and watch the football match that he plays as well. And when we go out together with your kid, uh, what kind of things uh, your kid would like to eat? Uh, pizza and Iskander, this is just a standard. Other than this, uh, he doesn't want to eat anything. What about like burger, burger or something? No. no, he doesn't like eating those things. And uh, only, I mean, just a couple of days ago, we wanted to have burger instead. And it was something also very rare. <laughs> when you go out, I was like, make a flurry. We bought it. What about the ice cream? The, uh, I mean, the ice cream that is sold in the market? Yes. Cornet. Cornet is fixed. Standard. So, for example, we have eaten eight cornets. And if we are in the summer resort in Dacha, and we are just using and eating uh, ice cream ex excessively, and when you go out, what does he want to want you to do? Uh, buy uh, wafer, chocolate. Yeah. Uh, even even I go to the grocery to buy something, I buy maybe four or five different waivers or chocolates as well. Which is the most favorite one among the snacks that you have already told me? As a brand? No, no, as a product. You say cakes. Is you, Eti. The cakes by Eti. Eti is a brand in Turkish. 
and at the tour tower, it kicks uh, by Itzy. And uh, the intense one I'm talking about. He likes Etsy, and uh, he, he was just uh, finished a packet of uh, packet of cake yesterday, last night. And what about the other things that he likes? There was one with the. Uh, uh, with the sweet corn, and he likes the uh, spicy ones. And and at the weekend we can also have it as well. Uh, I mean the ones with the very hot and chili pepper do not smell that bad. If we talk about the snacks that you permit your uh, uh, your child to consume, yes, I of course uh, let him eat whatever he wants to eat. And uh, I mean, even if uh, I do not let him free to eat whatever he wants to eat, I mean, he will uh, he will be able to eat it. I mean, because. Uh, I am. Uh, I don't have any ability to uh, chase after him all the time during the day. So you uh, approve your kid to eat most of the snacks. Yes. But I would just recommend him to eat a less amount of those things. So, for example, when he is going to be turning over 40 years, he will be able to eat whatever he wants to. I mean, if uh, the content and the taste is not so bad, I would just let him to eat whatever he wants to. If I I wouldn't recommend the things which are sold in a very low price. I, I mean the first thing that I do I just uh, taste uh, I mean taste the taste and if I am convinced with uh, the taste then I would just recommend my kid to have it as well. And Eti, Ulker, Sarai I think. That was another brand called Sarai. So I would just recommend him to eat this kind of brands. <laughs> so the, the the brands are uh, very well known, and those are the brands we generally stick to. What about the snacks that you consume at home, for example? Could you please talk a little bit about them? What kind of snacks do you consume at home? Ice cream. Biscuits, cake, and what else? Vipers. So, do you like uh, eating this kind of snack at home? Yes, very much so. Why? Wow, I mean, what are the moments that you uh, like eating this kind of snack? For example, studying, doing ho uh, homework together with my uh, son. Uh, I mean, everybody uh, naturally has got a plate of, of uh, fresh fruits when we are at home. And for example, after dinner around 10 o'clock, we may have a plate of fresh fruit. Uh, so, when you, uh, I mean, go, uh, do you go out together with your friends? Yes. Yes, of course, I can go. When you go out together with your friends, what kind of things do you generally like eating? Uh, together with the kids, not uh, with the, your ki with your kids, but with your friends. Generally speaking, could be snacks or some other things that you like eating. 
For example, I think uh, last time we were at uh, the uh, last week. And there were some appetizers La uh, and uh, the food like kebab. Other than this, when we go out together with uh, two, two or three uh, friends, we go to the cafes, to the pizza houses, or, or the kebab houses, where restaurants we go. So, I mean, I went out on Saturday evening, and what did I eat? Well, waffle. Waffle we have eaten. And this kind of things we generally eat. Because, I mean, this is a waste of time when you think about uh, cooking it at home. Uh, you know that everyone uh, has got a special time and uh, either with your husband or your son. And these occasions, uh, for example, where and what type of things uh, do you consume? Do you, uh, do you consume snacks? Yes, I consume. Which days? What occasions? Could you, could you please talk a little bit about that? I, I mean, because I am consuming this kind of things normally, like uh, eating chocolate and... And ice cream, of course. I mean, if I do not uh, eat ice cream, I don't, I don't feel myself uh, very content. And uh, when you eat these snacks, for example, can you uh, are you are you able to say that you feel yourself like that? Uh, for example, in order to make a day special for you, is there anything that you like? No, I don't. I don't make uh, this kind of discrimination. For me, every, every day is the same and special. And uh, for example, I am the one who lost 10 kilograms without uh, applying a, a special diet, dietary. And since uh, the month of March, I have lost 10 kilograms. And I have never seen any dietitian as well. So the snacks eating. If you know uh, what is good or bad for you, I mean, then you are going to be balancing what you should eat. For example, maybe your doctor is not going to be prohibited you eating tomatoes, but tomatoes might be harmful for you. I mean, in order to uh, indulge myself, I wouldn't prefer to eat anything special. So I've got chocolate in my bag. I don't have any problems about that. The foods that uh, your, uh, your uh, kid eats, is there anything that you care about that? There. Uh, uh, uh, only the muscles uh, are the things that I uh, prohibit my kids eating. For example, if I just uh, serve 10 uh, muscles in front of him, he eats uh, all of them. Other than this, is there anything that you uh, prohibit? Or is there anything that you wish he hadn't eaten it. No. So you, I mean, you very, uh, you clearly say that he is able to uh, and he can eat everything he likes. Yes. And cockroach at the same time, he, he likes eating a lot. 
and it was uh, it says that it's clean and so he can eat there as well so uh, you said that you were putting some prohibitions for consuming the mussels I mean in terms of hygiene I don't believe that uh, it is the right thing to consume uh, if I believe that it is hygienic then I would also let him to eat it uh, I mean so they are getting all kind of information about what is good what is bad about that because they keep logging on the internet and they are getting all the information from there so there is no uh, well, no use of saying and uh, warning him uh, about the things that uh, he should eat or not eat. This is our approach. Because you said that you would like to prohibit him eating muscle. What? Uh, I just try to explain the, uh, the, the, the disadvantages of eating muscles. If I say that uh, my son, if he eat this kind of things, it may just uh, harm you. And but uh, I mean, he can also understand once he makes a little research on the internet and verifies the things that uh, I had told him was. Uh, right. So I have just uh, seen him as he, he was leaning out of the balcony, and uh, only one time I have uh, shown him uh, what should have been uh, happened as sh as he leaned out of the balcony, and then uh, he. then uh, he learned it and he didn't do it again and if we talk about the uh, snacks what comes to your mind especially recent times uno croissant I'm thinking about the last two or uh, one or two years it has produced a new product and launched in the market. Pingui is also new. I'm just thinking if there is something else. And so the ready-made pasta. I didn't like its taste. I have just tasted once. Lipton iced tea and chips. It's like a spoon chips. What kind of chips is that? I think it was wafers. It was in the shape of a spoon. It was lace. And other than, uh, is there anything else that comes to your mind? I'm just thinking. And the popcorns. Of course, there are a lot, uh, but I'm just trying to understand uh, the snacks that you have in your minds. And cakes has been a lot. And porcha, the apple pie. And I am just thinking of cheesy and this kind of things we generally consume at home. The products that you have told me, what are the things that make them popular? The name, the brand name, and the package. Uh, advertisement uh, 
and the taste. Taste is very important for me. Uh, Uh, you can buy uh, a product uh, only for once, uh, be, I mean, because of the uh, commercial. For example, uh, there are a lot of products that I bought only once and then I quit buying it because of its taste, bad taste. Be, uh, because we are all working at the service industry. Uh, and no matter if you go to hospital or anywhere else, you would like to get the best service from them. So let's talk a little bit about the suits. What, what are your uh, favorite suits? Ice cream. Something that I do not like eating, but that the people at home likes eating. What? Sütlü, a milky uh, dessert. What about the milk S desserts like muhallebe, pudding? Uh, I mean, people at home uh, like uh, eating that kind of things. So I also like pudding, but uh, uh, for a, a certain period of time, I was uh, forced to uh, eating this kind of things uh, continuously. That's why at the moment I do not like it, it uh, eating it a lot. So like mosaic uh, cakes. And is there anything that you buy uh, from uh, the uh, from the patisseries? No. So not only the milky uh, dessert, but might be some other things as well. So I mean, there there is no need for wasting a lot of time in the kitchen. For example, ashure. Ashure is made of the forty different uh, spices and the grains. It's a kind of Turkish uh, dessert, and he is, she says that she likes eating that as well. Uh, the cakes we can buy. If I am not going to be talking about the ice cream, where do you buy those things? From the patisseries, where else? That's all. I wouldn't like to buy it for, from a market because that is a little bit different. And uh, for example, the ones that I buy from the patisseries gives the feeling that it's been made uh, at home, at home, as it has been made at home. So you only buy the dessert that you have known before, or do you also buy the dessert which has been recommended by uh, people around you? Yes, I, can, I may also consider buying the, the dessert which has been recommended by uh, my friends. Think about that you've got your guests at home. So are you talking about the Yeah, for example, if they're coming for dinner or lunch, so 
you got uh, food to serve them like pastry or dessert you can serve them and pastry filled with cheese or baklava uh, Tur uh, Turkish dessert or mosaic cake I mean those are the things that you generally serve them so dessert and the ice creams are standards even if they come for dinner you serve them to how often do you get yes uh, at least once a week what comes to your mind when I say ice cream ice cream as an appearance, taste, format, whatever comes to your mind, I would like you to mention a difference, differentiating taste. A piece comes to my mind. Beauty, delicacy. Happiness, have we written down that as well? Yes. That's all. Uh, are, the, uh, are these the only things that came to your mind? Because ice cream is very much included in our daily lives, so uh, I have uh, just accustomed it, you know. So you have already said three different attributes uh, happiness, uh, difference. So when we talk about these attributes one by one, uh, I sometimes mix the uh, mix the flavors as well. It's not uh, completely together, but I um, I may buy, buy different flavors and I put it into the same balls and mix it and the taste you mentioned about that as well I mean if it is not uh, tasting good for yourself you do not consider to eat it and buy it so uh, I mean it's really very rare that I buy uh, ice cream from the pet series I generally buy uh, the ice cream from the uh, from the markets So it just well, it's the the taste of your palate. You mentioned about the beauty as well. Why? Why do you mean? What do you mean? Because no matter if it is in the patisserie or at home, when you uh, when you sprinkle a little bit uh, hazelnuts over them, I mean the taste becomes really very uh, nicer. And the, the, the, the piece you have mentioned about, I mean, the piece that you can have after you consume, uh, you consume ice cream. I mean, you, I mean, you don't, uh, you don't uh, like to eat something which doesn't look good. Ice cream that you uh, regularly consume at home. What are uh, types and the flavors of, uh, uh, for example, the ones uh, with the fruit flavors are not very much consumed at home. Uh, especially the vanilla one, lemon one, and the, the raspberries. We eat. So we've got suppose suppose that we've got two different box of ice cream and we can get just one spoon of each and you say the chocolate one uh, my, my son likes eating the vanilla flavor 
I generally prefer eating strawberry flavored one. And caramel. An apricot. So caramel is like uh, almost by everyone in our family. What about the ice cream that you like eating outside on? The same ones. So the flavors do not change. Maybe apricot. And the framboise, the raspberry ones. I prefer eating. So you said that your son likes eating vanilla. Yes, he likes it very much. So the caramel, vanilla are the ones that he likes most. When you buy these flavors, who makes the decision? I, I make the decision. I mean, uh, I make all the decisions about the food that I'll buy for house. If you talk about your son, what are the brands? Etty, he prefers. Ulkash. Cholin. Cholin. And what about the ice cream brands? Cornetto. Cornetto. Max. And there is another. Magnum. Magnum, he likes a lot. How often does uh, your a kid consume uh, ice cream when you are at home? At least twice a week. Even if it is not a bulk ice cream, uh, we may have Cornetto, for example. Uh, I mean, we uh, certainly have this kind of uh, things at home, so he he eats those things. So twice a week, while while playing at home, for example, he likes consuming that. If he is watching a television show that he likes, then he eats it. But outside, I mean, for sure, he eats ice cream. <laughs> what time of the day generally he consumes ice cream? Does he eat at in the evening or at lunchtime? Generally, he eats in the evening. Why in the evening, guys? Because we also eat at the same time. Because he is back at home at after five o'clock, and after six, he comes back home. And if I am also at home, I mean, those are the times that we generally like eating this ice cream. When you serve ice cream to a member of your family or a guest coming into or your relative, how do you serve the ice cream as a snacks, as a dessert, or what? As a dessert, I uh, serve it. Why as a dessert? I mean, it can, it can be replaced the food as well. I mean, I can I can I can eat in place of food as well. Because it is something that could be eaten after you had the food. I mean, you can eat ice cream in place of a dessert. I mean, it is something that can go very well with anything. Uh, for example, it can go very well with uh, the with the alcoholic drink uh, like liquor or with coffee. It can go well as well. Yeah. 
Uh, what time of the day you generally do this services? Between 8 and 9 in the evenings. Again, at the same time in the evenings, you say. So uh, between 10.30 and 1 o'clock, uh, you can serve the dessert. If you are asking me how often I get, uh, I eat it, uh, at least uh, once a week I buy ice cream and I keep it on the store, uh, uh, in the fridge. You buy it only the packet one, package one? Yes, I don't have ice cream. The packed one can be consumed uh, right away after we bought it, we buy it, especially in the summertime. Uh, because uh, we've got very uh, close supermarkets and we can go there and buy the uh, buy the ice cream from the markets. So you can buy it in a, uh, in a pack uh, and you can buy it uh, in uh, singles as well, yes. Uh, you buy it in the market, you buy it in um, the grocers. For example, you have Mopash Migros. Uh, we have three different markets just very close to where uh, we uh, live. And so you generally buy the ice creams from the grocers and the, and the supermarkets, yes. And what about the patch series? So I, I mean, I can go to the pet series maybe twice a month. I mean, we we do not buy a lot of uh, ice cream from the pet series. Your, uh, you're purchasing attributes of buy uh, of ice cream. Does it change according to the seasons? For example, do you do you buy the same amount of uh, ice cream uh, in winter, both in winter and summer? No, in uh, winter we are buying a little bit less uh, compared to the to our purchasing in the summertime. So we generally buy uh, one pack of ice cream in every one and a half weeks. And we buy Magnum and we buy it in packs. So you always store it home, yes. So for example, they say that the, the, the outside is snowing and don't eat ice cream. So this is not our philosophy. We always eat ice cream even if it snows. So on Saturdays and at the weekends, we also like eating ice cream. When you go out, why do you definitely consume ice cream? Because uh, when my kid is having its training, he is using excessive amount of energy and therefore he needs to uh, eat ice cream which will energize him. Uh, Cornet, Magnum, uh, he can buy in the Migros. Or suppose that we go to a restaurant, then we can buy ice cream as well. So you said that you would also buy when you go out while buying ice cream. Do you uh, have any limitations? No. I don't believe that the prices of ice cream are so uh, extreme, so high. 
Of course, there is a capacity for that as well. So, uh, I, I mean, more, uh, generally, he buys three scoops of ice cream when he is out because everybody has got its own capacity. I mean, you cannot eat more than what your cap capacity is. For example, when you're out, I mean, you're not able to eat 10 scoops of uh, ice cream. So how much do you, uh, do you uh, spend for ice cream? Around 10 Turkish lira. In the recent times, regarding the snacks that you consume outside, what are they? So what did I eat on? I could, uh, on uh, Monday evening, I ate crackers. As a snack, did you eat anything else? You ate chips at home. And uh, my son has just eaten cake. And on Tuesday evening, I ate uh, wafers that we had at home. And other than this, could be something that you ate outside. I mean, not necessarily to be at home. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I ate ice cream no. uh, during lunch time. And what about the day before? It was uh, Sunday, and I ate waffle. Waffle. What did you eat with that? So we are about to finish the last. So how often does your son consume in the summertime ice cream? Every day he eats. He eats ten uh, scoops of the ice cream every, uh, every day in the summertime. Yes. If you're not very sweatened, so for, for example, when you eat a glass of water at the uh, the, the the temperature uh, at the room temperature, everything will be sorted out. I mean, even if you eat a lot of ice cream. What about the other seasons like? Fall. I mean, depending on the on the temperature outside, uh, we can eat maybe two or three times or four times a day. So, uh, but, but I mean, in the winter time, it uh, drops down to twice a week in the winter time. Uh, my son, because he is uh, free to eat, he can eat at its own. What about the brands that comes from your mind? Algida, Algida, Panda, Ulker, Golf. Uh, nothing else comes to my mind. Is there any different type of ice cream that comes to your mind? There could be the ones which are sold in the ice uh, pet series. I don't remember it very well, but my son just wanted to me uh, wanted me to buy something in the pet series. It was. Uh, it was called like tanamine or something like that. And there is a box of, uh, of it like that, and there is a writing, but I do not remember it exactly. So, 
four different brands. What do you think? For example, what do you think about Algida? That is excellent. I mean, uh, none of the other brands can catch up with the taste that it gives. Because you're not able to find algida everywhere you go, but they the I mean the flavors are really very excellent. And uh, the place where the where the panda is uh, sold is really very limited. If it uh, we I mean in Istanbul, it's panda comes first, and outside of Istanbul. Golf. And Fresca. Fresca comes. And you said that you find Algida excellent. Yes. Why do you think that Algida is excellent? I mean, everything is uh, very well balanced. I mean, you can get everything at a well balanced. The flavors are well balanced and taste is super. And the Magnum. I mean, uh, we have to mention about the Magnum because uh, it's also very nice ice cream. And nothing else than this comes. What about Panda? Panda is funny. It's very funny. Why is, is it funny? Because its commercials are really uh, eye catching. Magnum is addressing to a little bit. Uh, uh, you, the adult people, but Panda is more sympathetic. Panda is a little bit more childish than Magnum. And regarding adults, what do you think about Panda? I believe that Panda is generally uh, uh, addressing to the uh, younger generations, like children. Kids. And what about Ilka Golf? Ilka Golf is the medium. So th there's nothing that I can tell about that. I mean. So I believe that it's just something that the people can afford to buy it, I mean, uh, in terms of its pricing. But its taste is not so good. What about the one that you couldn't remember the name of? Uh, I mean, it's just a new. So, so have, you, have you consumed it before? I have just uh, consumed it once, and I didn't like it much. Maybe we can just try it again, but what was lacking? Uh, we didn't feel that, that the material inside was not so satisfactory. So the, uh, I believe the taste and flavors should be more intense. Uh, and you should uh, just notice the difference in the flavors. So this was not possible when I ate this new ice cream. Uh, I mean, uh, it's really very important that the an ice cream should just satisfy your palate taste and the uh, the way it looks as well. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, many. The moderator yes, is coming over here. I've written on your Skype. Okay, let me see. Okay, back to you. What's the difference? Geleneksel Türk tatlısıyla şey arasında dondurma arasındaki fark nedir? Bu Türk tatlılarını ne zaman dondurmayı ne zaman yemek ister? Türk tatlısını ne zaman yiyor, dondurmayı ne zaman yemek istiyor? 
what is a definite ice cream occasion? Yani uh, şey diyor. Dondurmanın, dondurma yediği anlar, durumları, kesin durumlar hangileridir? Hangileri, hangi zamanlarda yemek istemez diyor. Ve şeylediği, söylediği şeyleri yazar mısın demiş bana. Hangi markalardan bahsetti? Aldida, Honda, Uşerborg, Fresca. Bundan tam emin değilim ama Fresca diye hatırlıyorum. Evet. Ülker Gold'u değil mi? Golf mi? Golf. Ee, ve e, neydi? Bir tane Fresca. Gold değil, Golf. Ben onu yazdım sana o zaman. Gene biraz zorlandım da. Anlamadım. Yer çok oluyor abi. Çok oldu. Çünkü geç başlattı. Tamam başka bir şey. Evet onları sor. Ha? Sonra bitiriyorum. Hı hı. What's the difference between Turkish traditional dessert and ice cream? Bir dakika dursun. Bir dakika dursun. Bir dakika dursun. Bir dakika dursun. Bir dakika Alo? Tamam. You can eat ice cream anytime during the day. But the traditional desserts are a little bit uh, heavier, I mean, sweeter than the ice cream. Uh, because the Tur traditional Turkish desserts are very rich. And uh, when you compare the milky uh, uh, dessert with the ice cream, I prefer ice cream. So I do not like eating a lot of desserts, that's why. For example, Muhalebi pudding and Kazandibi, these are the, the Turkish traditional desserts that we like consuming over here in Turkey. And other than those, I wouldn't like uh, to eat any. So you say that the ice cream is a little light, lighter than the traditional Turkish delight. And you say that you can consume the ice cream any time of the day. My second question, when do you eat ice cream? Is it in winter or, or summer? When we go out and after dinner or lunch? Especially in the evenings when we go out of work and go, I mean, head for the business, for the home, then we can eat it. I can consume it at least once a month for sure. In every 15 days. 
other than this, do I have any question that I check? Where, when do you, uh, when do you want to eat these things? I do not like eating the traditional Turkish desserts much. At the weekends. My last question is this. What is served to guests after dinner? Efendim. Duyuyorum, duyuyorum. Evet, ama cevap gelmedi. Ha? Okay. If uh, no alcoholic drinks uh, have uh, used during the uh, during the dinner, then I may be serving a traditional Turkish desserts like baklava or mosaic cake uh, or sometimes ice cream as well. So, do you always serve ice cream or? I mean, ice cream is just a standard. Ice cream is always there. And according to the wish of your guest, you may also serve some other desserts too. I mean, uh, many of the people uh, are not very fancy with uh, consuming ice cream during the day. But because ice cream is made of milk, I do not see any drawbacks of uh, serving ice cream to uh, the people coming in. And even to my son, I, I can just uh, treat it uh, with uh, confidence. And so, um, but I generally prefer to serve uh, ice cream as well. Ümit, ya, e, şey hiç anlamıyorum abi ya, çok kötü oluyor ya. Ses yok ya. Ne dedi şimdi son olarak? Ne veriyormuş Ümitlerden sonra? Hep dondurma veriyorum dedim. Bir şeyini düşün. Many, many. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I, I mean the uh, respondent has uh, indicated that she was always serving ice cream after the dinners But, to okay. the guests. And sometimes he was just putting a piece of ice cream on top of the traditional Turkish dessert, like okay. mosaic cake. Okay. We, I mean, if you've got any question, because the moderator is just st standing next to me, we can ask and answer. Yeah, let Do me just any? think over it. Uh, okay. I will, yeah. 
Video kaydı mı falan? İkincisi ne zamanda? Üçüncüsü? Şimdi geldi tabii. Kaçtaydı? Hemen şimdi bir buçukta. Bir buçukta mıydı? Hmm. So we don't have a lot of time for the next interview because the respondent has already uh, come in.